Hello, good morning friends. It is Friday, which means it's time for another weekend reading vlog. I'm Krista, this is Books and Jams. Thanks for coming. Um, I am in my car, headed to my mom's house in New York. My brother and I have a wedding to go to this weekend. And we came halfway last night and stayed here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at my cousin's house for a quick like whirlwind. We got here, what, like 10.30 or so last night. Mm -hmm. And it is 7.30 this morning. They've already left, um, Beth and her roommate have already left for work because they both work at schools. So they left early and we took another 20 minutes or so to get ready and go. And 7.30, we're hitting the road. Hit the road, Jack. Uh, I am listening to the Shadow Children series, which is a middle grade, early middle grade, I would say, kind of mystery dystopian type of book. I listened to the first one last night and then I started the second one. Uh, the second one is like two hours longer than the first one, but still, still pretty short. Um, and it will be my, it will fulfill my prompt for series September of reading two books in the same series. So I'm going to keep listening to that as we go today. Jordan kind of puts his headphones in and listens to his own stuff. And yeah, we have like five hours, four and a half to five hours to drive and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. Thankfully, this leg of the trip doesn't have any traffic. Last night we had to go through DC, which is always bad traffic, and it was raining, and it was night. Not fun driving at all. <laughs> but we made it safely, and we're gonna make it safely today as well. So come along for the weekend. I am not sure how much reading I'll get done, because I'll be at my mom's, hanging out with my sister and my brother, and going to a wedding tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'll talk to you later. We're at a pit stop and can tell that we've come north because it's freezing. It's so cold. Um, but we are just stopping for gas and a little vanilla chai because I am driving and I'm falling asleep. So I need to get a, something with caffeine and I don't drink soda and I don't drink coffee. So chai, chai it is. Also, there's my little gimpy brother with his crutches. Poor fella. I have listened to book two. I finished book two and I read book three. Let me get on the other side of this. And I read book three, so I'm on book four now of the Shadow Children series. So making good progress. I'll tell you more about it later, but yeah. I'm gonna finish our pit stop and get back on the road. Back to the same work that we did in week five, but again, our weight is going to increase. And Here we go. Is going to increase. Doing my workout even at my mom's. So I just got done doing my workout for the day. I don't like doing it in the afternoon. <laughs> I so much prefer getting it done in the morning, but I didn't even take a shower at my cousin's today. We just kind of hopped in the car and left. So I did it now. Jordan's out resting in the other room watching some show or something and my mom and sister are still at work, so I had time. So I finished my book, book four of the Shadow Children series, and then I did my workout. So yay, it's done. I had to adjust because I don't have weights. I didn't bring weights home with me. Tomorrow's is cardio, so I don't really need the weights, but today I just kind of, I had to kind of skip a couple of the things or do them just with body weight, which worked fine. I still sweat a little bit and got a good workout in, so yay for that. I thought before I shower, since I look super cute, actually not too bad, but before I shower, I thought I would just tell you a little bit about what the Shadow Children series is. It is a seven book series. I did learn that there are seven books, so I have three left. And each one is titled like, Among the Brave, Among the Barons, Among the Free, Among the Enemy, <laughs> Among the Something. And Among the Hidden is the first one. It's the only one I'm really going to tell you too much about because the rest carry on the story, so it would be spoilery. Um, but in the first one, we meet Luke, who is an illegal third child in his family. So his he's got two older brothers. And in this somewhat dystopian future world, uh, there was a population slash food crisis. So there was, the, the population was just growing and growing and growing. And then there were some major famines amongst the, the major food growing areas. And the leader, president, 
ty tyrannical <laughs> um, despot president. Um, so the president of this land, um, it never comes right out and says it's in America. It just says in the country or whatever, but it does have a president. He made a rule banning families from having more than two children in order to help the population problem to be fixed. However, as with most dictator type governments, the barons are the wealthy people. And it turns out there wasn't as much of a food crisis as it seemed. It just was that the barons were the ones getting all the food. The rich were getting richer and the poor were getting poorer type of a situation. And yeah, so it just was a not so great situation. But Luke was an illegal third child of his family and he has lived his life in hiding. Well, his family are farmers. And so for the first 12 years of his life, it wasn't really that big of a deal because they had all this land and woods behind their house. So he and his brothers could go outside and play and just they had protocols in place that if anyone were to come nearby or whatever, he would have to run inside and hide. Well, then they started to tear down these woods to build a new development of houses. And so Luke's life got vastly smaller and he had to stay in the house. And then because there were just more people around in the neighborhood, he had to stay up in the attic and eat his meals on the steps he wasn't able to come to the table anymore in case anybody saw shadows through the blinds, different things like that. So his life just got very small. Up in the attic, he has these vent grates that he's able to look out of and know that he's not seen. And so he kind of enjoys watching the houses being built and he learns a lot about the neighborhood and how many people move in and who's moving into each house. And one day uh, after everybody in the, in the neighborhood has gone to work, he thinks he sees a face in one of his neighbor's windows. What's he going to do about it? Dun, dun, dun. And the story just carries on from there. So Luke is our main character throughout the series, except in, in book three, we follow a different girl who was introduced in book two. So that was a little bit different because we followed a different character. We still see Luke later on in the story, but we did follow a different character for that book. But it's just a lot of fun. It's dystopian, and I haven't read dystopian in quite a while, and I just am really enjoying it. It's not blowing my mind. They are probably three, three and a half. I don't do half stars. They're probably between three and four star reads. Like, I'm just really enjoying them. And it, and it is pretty creative, but it's not incredibly fast paced. And there's a bit of a mystery in each one. Not like a, a murder whodunit mystery, but... There's this, just this growing discontent with the government and different people do different things about it. <laughs> I know that's super vague and I have to because it's a series, but I have now completed my prompt for series September of reading two books in the same series because I have now read four in this series. So that's fabulous. Um, but now I'm going to go have a shower and get ready for the day. I think my mom and I may, we ha I, I have, to, I still have to get a gift for my cousin <laughs> whose wedding is tomorrow. Oh man, I just totally in the midst of everything um, over the last couple weeks, just it slipped my mind to think about a gift. So I know she's registered at a couple places. So mom and I might go get something for her tonight. I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest, but I'll be ready when mom comes home from work. So I'm going to go have a shower. I will check in a little bit later. I'll probably read a print book for a little bit um, if I'm ready before mom comes home. Uh, if not, then we'll see if I get anything else read today. I don't know. I'll let you know shortly. <laughs> okay, here's my mom's little cottage. There's the sister and the mom. There's the lake. It all just got sided. The door is going to be painted purple. Right? Yeah. Here. This this all got landscaped since I was last here. That looks really Except nice. Except they're not alive now. No, but it looks <laughs> much better than it. I mean, it was a hot mess when I was here last. Mm -hmm. Ready? You gotta Ready. say the cottage Ready. name. Oh, you say it. I can't say it. What's the name of the cottage? Koinonia. Koinonia, which means? Fellowship. Fellowship. It's still a WIP. Work in progress. Upstairs, it looks better. First. <laughs> Here's going to be the little kitchenette. That's a, got a cabinet, huh? 
All right, I'm gonna see it. Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna show the wall at last. This will be the li living area. So this wall. There's gonna be some couches and this is the accent wall that Rachel's been working on. It looks really good, Rach. Doesn't it look good? It looks really pretty. I like the colors of everything. Okay. Is this the original door? The original door. Original door. I took the handle off. We gotta find it. The <laughs> little bathroom. Oh, I like the, the wood on the wall, the little paneling. Cute. Oh, you're purple. There's a scary basement down there. I won't open that door. Krista, this is what I used. And these are the scary chops off. Oh, the nice. scary stairs. These but are the, the next scary part, stairs. Next time you come, I'll have new stairs. Jimmy has an idea where they're going to start here. The stick, there's and turn, the turn, turn. And then, oh. oh, so they can be a little wider. Yes. Nice. Wider. So, but I do it your stairs if you want to spend money. Oh, I love the ceiling on here. So this is going to be Rachel's. I put in that floor. Like another bedroom type area. There will be a railing. There's no railing right now, so um, don't yes. fall over, but it looks right out. Right is this going to, can I, will I die? Oh. Oh, best that. part, you ready for this? A swing is going to come from down here and go down so I can sit in a swing and watch the sunset. Wait, what? So we're gonna put- It'll go down to the entryway. Chains right here. It'll go down into the entryway when no one's here and then it's gonna get hung on the side. Cute. And right? then when we're not swinging, it'll just get hung up. It'll be just a swing on the wall. Oh my word, I love it. Cool, I just a like bed. that little window. Listen, a bed's yeah. gonna go here. And a bed on each side. A bed here and a bed here. So you'll have three beds three up here. Three bags, possibly a fourth. Well, you might do bean bags over yeah. here. We could do a blow More up over there. there. But yeah. I, it is so much brighter up here than it originally yeah. was. It is. It looks really good. It's just going to do turquoise. I mean, it was so dark and creepy. Yeah. It, I, it, I didn't think this, I'd ever sleep up here. I might. And this makes it look wide. Like, it makes it look bigger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it goes right around to the front. Just a little bit. Just enough to hide. Nice. <laughs> Your chair will be right here. <laughs> and then there's the view. And Oswego is known, Lake Ontario is known for, for gorgeous sunsets every night. This is real nice, Mom. Is that, are those your purple chairs? <laughs> what no. Are, what no, are those purple I'm chairs? Put them over there. <laughs> They're going to get moved before. What does that sign say? Boat? Rock, Rock Beach. Beach. Rock Beach. How Somebody funny. Somebody made that. We don't even know who. I know. Maybe tomorrow morning. There's some herrings down there. Hi, little birds. It's a juice glass. It's not a juice glass. It's too big for a shot glass. Well, it's a... Uh... All right, what kind of Arizona hoodie like? I was just saying, Good idea. Push Cinderella. Oh, oh, oh ew, stop. <laughs> okay, come on. She doesn't like us. What are you doing? You're Cinderella, massaging, it's go. your turn. Why are you filming? Cinderella. Just for a clip. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Pretty. Movie time. But this is how we do. Honestly, Ouch. who cares what I think? It's good. Who cares what anyone thinks? What matters is how you feel when you look in the mirror. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Take pictures of yourself. I'm fil I'm videoing. Oh, golly. <laughs> Mom and I are on the way to go to Target and any yard sales we see along the way, we might stop. Um, I didn't get a gift for my cousin's wedding later this afternoon, so I'm finishing up getting some things for that. And 
we just wanted to go to Target. So we're yeah. up early. I did my workout this morning and it's I didn't. It's not early, it's nine o'clock. It's not, not, it's nine o'clock. That's early for a lot of people still on a Saturday. Well, wake up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of gross still, but I wanted to shower closer to the wedding time so I could straighten my hair. So mom's a little disgusted that I'm coming out looking like this. <laughs> but it's cool enough to wear a hoodie. and That's amazing. I haven't had it cold enough to wear a hoodie so in Virginia well, it's in ages. It's not going to get much warmer. Yeah. So here we go, shopping. I did listen a teeny tiny bit to book five of the Shadow Children last night, but that's all. I didn't do any reading yesterday really, except in the morning when I was driving. So that's what happens when you go on a little trip. All right, I'll talk to you later. We're here at the wedding at my Uncle Joel's beautiful land. It's where the, what, the bride's gonna get married. It's where we have family reunions. There's Jordan in his wheelchair. <laughs> masked up and there's my uncle's house so my grandma where my my dad and his siblings grew up is like up the hill there was my grandma's land but my uncle is a big gardener there's all these beautiful flowers all around it's really pretty and it's a gorgeous day like not too hot not too cold overcast not too sunny it's beautiful Sunday, which is driving day. And my sister Rachel just made us a feast. Oh. <laughs> well, mom made, mom made some of it. We're gonna have breakfast before we head out. Well, it is now Monday morning. <laughs> I did not end up filming on our way home. It was like a nine, nine and a half hour drive with, with a couple stops. So there was no exciting things to film. <laughs> And then I came home, we got home around 8.30 uh, and I pretty much finished the book that I was listening to and then I went to bed. So I was in bed before 10. Doesn't usually happen around these parts. I'm usually an 11 o'clock person, but I'm ready for work. And well, I am not ready for work. I had a hoodie on and I need to change because it's a little too warm outside already. But I wanted to just wrap things up here, tell you about the Shadow Children series because I did complete the whole thing in the car on my trip up and my trip back. That's a lot of books. And then I also read Pardonable Lies by Jacqueline Winspear, which is book three in the Maisie Dobbs series. So I'll talk about that too. This series is called the Shadow Children series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I've talked about it a little bit. It's about this boy, Luke, originally, who is a third child and in this dystopian world third children are illegal and Luke in the first book is hidden in his family's home unable to even eat dinner at the table with them they're very nervous original I think originally I told you he had woods to play in and stuff but then they build a development near his home and the woods get torn down there they have pigs that they farm and the government takes away the pigs because this new development is like the barons the wealthy people and they don't want to smell the pigs uh and so their livelihood is just kind of stripped away little by little by little 
the, a lot of people in the land other than the rich people do not have enough food. They're starving. It's just this horrible situation. Um, and Luke is not the only third child in the world. And so the rest of these books all kind of talk about this same situation and how do we overthrow the government ultimately. So we have Among the Hidden, Among the Imposters, and this takes place at a school where there are a, a number of third children. This one, Among the Betrayed, turns out somebody is not who they say they are. And this one, we follow a different main character, um, one of the characters that we meet in book two. This one is Among the Barons. In order to get outside of their homes, they have to have a false identity. And sometimes when people, sympathetic, sympathetic wealthy people, when someone in their family dies, they give that identity to a third child to have an identity card. And so um, one of the third children has to live for a little while among the barons, among the wealthy people, and learns a lot more about what's going on in that situation. Then we have Among the Brave. This one also follows a different main character and somebody who was super afraid to even go outside is now forced into a situation where they have to find some courage. And so it's super cool. I, I really liked this one. Uh, Among the Enemy, where some of them go undercover with the population police. And then Among the Free, where it all comes to a conclusion. And what does freedom really mean? I love that. So this was a really fun series. I think overall, um, some of them were three star, some of them were four star, but I think overall I would give it a four star just because I was really invested in it. I think it would make a really great uh, adaptation like series on TV. Not not a movie because there's too much to go on, but but a series would be really cool of this. I think that that would make a fun adaptation. I don't know if it's ever been done or not, but I really loved reading all those. <laughs> So that was my that was my car reading and then I had a couple hours left in the car and I'm like I don't I took a little break and I called up my mom and I listened to a podcast and then I was like okay now I'm ready to start another book. So I did start Pardonable Lies to continue with my series September reading. I made progress in this Maisie Dobbs series. So in this one, we're kind of in between World War 1 and World War 2 and so it's kind of interesting that the mysteries that she's solving, there are two different mysteries in here that she has to solve. They're connected to World War One, but we also have this overshadowing premonition of World War II happening, like Hitler's party just gained power in Germany. Maisie is hired to prove that somebody actually died. This this man, this wealthy man's son, this wealthy man doesn't get along with his son and hit and he they were told that his son died in the war, but there was never any proof of it. The, the wife was convinced that he was still alive and the husband who didn't get along with him is just kind of like, you know, he's dead, doesn't want to pursue it. But the wife on her deathbed convinces her husband to, her like dying wish is for her husband to find their son. And so he hires Maisie to prove that he's dead. So that's one of the mysteries she's working on. Her best friend also has a brother who missing presumed dead from the war. So she asks Maisie, since she's already kind of doing that same thing, if she can, can look up information about her brother as well. Um, and then Maisie herself has a lot of personal stuff that she's dealing with in this one. She herself was a nurse in World War I. So she has a lot that she has to deal with and she has to travel to France in the region where she was nursing during the war. And just has a lot of inner inner demons, if you will, that she has to work through in this book. So someone is also kind of after her. <laughs> there have been a, a couple of attempts on her life. And so she has to figure out what that's all about. She's just very run down. And oh, so I've, I've, I heard someone say it's kind of like a dark night of the soul for Maisie in this one. Um, but Maisie is a psychologist as well as a detective. And so I really love that aspect that she brings to her mysteries of really just trying to get to the heart of the matter and understand the people that are involved. And there's so much grace for both sides. Like um, Maisie doesn't, doesn't go in with any kind of preconceived understanding of these people. She just really wants to hear their story and figure out what's going on. And it's, it's just lovely. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I like the series a lot. There was a little bit of a almost paranormal aspect to this, which which is not my favorite, but 
it's still, it's still really good. I'm definitely planning on continuing with this series. I love that it's historical. I love that it's mystery. I love that it's a female detective. I'm down with it. So yeah, I had a fantastic reading weekend. <laughs> Eight books. <laughs> of course, these ones are all very short. And this one was relatively short as well. So eight books read this weekend, plus a wedding, plus some travel, plus seeing with my mom, plus seeing my mom and sister. So altogether, a very good weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog. I would love to chat with you down in the comments. Have you guys read that Shadow Children series by Margaret Peterson Haddix or Maisie Dobbs? Let me know or let's chat about anything else. You guys know I love talking with you down there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're all the way to the end, I appreciate you so much for watching and being here. You guys are fantastic and I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.